got this popped up all the way, all the way around all four sides. And you're going to lift this up. It's like lifting the hood up on the car. And there's all kinds of little ribbon cables you see here. There's one here, there's one in the center, two of them there, there's this one here going to the USB ports. So, what we're going to do is, let me show you how to take this all apart. You see this little, you can't really see it, you see this white tab here. I'm going to pull that out and pull that out just enough. You don't want to break this off, trust me. And over here, there's going to be this little brown tab. I'm going to push that out right there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I know you can't see because my hands are big. And as well right there, they got this little tab there. I got this little tab here. And this little ribbon table comes out. Now you've got your whole assembly off. Oh. Now you're looking at your motherboard. So here is your keyboard. So if you need to replace your keyboard, there's only one, two screws here to take and remove more for your keyboard. So if you came here to look for your keyboard removal, that's how you do it. And that looks fairly simple to remove the centerpiece here for your mouse pad. So you only have two screws there and then your keyboard gets taken off. I might be wrong. There might be there's a screw there, there's a screw there, there's a screw there, there's a screw there. The two main mounting ones and there's one there's always one hiding. There's one, two, three, four, five screws that hold this back plate here to the keyboard. So if you came here to this video to remove your keyboard, that's how you do it. Now, this one, the computer was overheating. Fan was running, and I could tell that it was running, and it was blowing out a lot of, it wasn't blowing out a lot of heat, it had a lot of heat radiating. Um, you do want to make sure you are careful with this side here. Plastic is very fragile. I actually kind of popped it up. So, anyway, back to this. We got this one connector here we want to take and we would uh, loosen. You don't want to rush yourself into this, you just take your time. You got all the time in the world to do it. Okay. But I'm going to try to document as much as possible for this. So I just removed the tape here and I'm going to move this Wi-Fi cable up like that. Here's your battery. Let's see, there's only one screw here. It's that screw there. This screw and this screw, it goes for that housing, so you don't want to touch it. Same way with that one. And that one goes for the housing for your hard drive. So it looks like there's only one screw here that holds it down. Then you have a few more connections and we want to take part, especially this screw here as well. It does take hold that one, that side down. You want to take that off. Yeah, that screw and that screw. So we've got a few more connections. And this is something I don't recommend doing, it's pulling by the wires. Because you can rip these wires out. So you want to just take and just rock this back and forth and see if you can get your nail in between it. You can also get a piece of pair of uh, fingernail clippers. That end would work a lot. So I'm going to get these connectors off. This is for the speaker. And the next one that you're going to have to be really careful about is this here. This is for your video. And I'm going to do the same way I'm doing right now. I'm just going to rock it back and forth. You do not want to break this cable. It's very hard to find them. And I'm just going to say, don't damage it. So, I'm going to get the rest of these connectors off here for the cable. 
I'm going to get these two screws here off. And then I will show you lifting up this motherboard. Because you got these screws, the uh, ports here on the left side. You're going to have to lift up and you'll pull out. I'll show you that in the next segment. Like I said, you're going to lift up. You're going to have some resistance, I feel. It could be something I didn't unplug from the bottom. Could be a wire that needs to be unplugged from the bottom. And it is. There's that one hardest right there. Once you see here. I think we might be able to just take, and these wires are thick enough, should be able to pull it now. Like that. See, so always run into something. And there's your motherboard. Just the other side of it. And here's the other side of the memory chips. Okay. So. This is very important. After we take this apart, you want to make sure that you plug this back in. Then you put the screws back down. I'm telling you this now because I made this mistake many, 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 many times. I have this computer all back together. The fan doesn't work. I forgot to plug that back in. Stupid move. Anyway, this screw here, this screw here. It's the only two screws for this one. I believe, don't think we will have to take anything further apart, hopefully we won't, I'm going to take that screw, and that screw, actually I'm going to do that, I'm going to take, I'm going to dis I won't even disconnect this, I'm going to show you how to do it, I'm going to take this screw here, and this screw here, I'm going to take this screw here, there's a small Phillips, I'm going to take that screw, that screw, and that screw. If you don't have a small enough Phillips to fit that, and I know it's a small head, just take this screw here, this screw here off, and then follow the order. One, two, three, and four. You take unscrew these. These are spring-loaded. The one, two, three, and four. And you put that back in the same way that you're taking it off. And this will lift with this. And what you'll see is what I'm about to show you. Okay, so I'm going to take my uh, chances here, because I really, if you're going to take this off, you're going to need the, what's called, the heat sink compound grease. So I don't have anything right now, so I'm just going to take these, one, two, three, four, five, six screws off, and I'm going to take this cover off, and it's the same equivalent as showing you how to take the whole shroud off, and I'll show you what's underneath here. Okay, so now we have a motherboard on a nice flat surface and it's taking the screws off. We're lifting it up and you will see the magic the magic dust bunnies. And I'm going to lift this up, I'm not gonna slide it. We lift it up and here's your magic dust bunnies. <laughs> This is lint, and I've had made comments in the past about having lint. This is equivalent of using your hair your clothes dryer, pretty much. And this is why laptops have a heat. Look at this guy over here. He's he's a nice one. Check that one out. Oh yeah, complete blockage. So I'm gonna get my brush out and I'm gonna scrape the in out. Assemble it back together. It should be good as new. 
So if you have to replace your fan, you're going to do what I just did. You're going to take this shroud cover off here. You're going to take these four screws here off and lift this whole bracket up. And then when you replace your fan, when they send it to you, you're just going to get this plastic piece here. And it's going to have this here. So you'll have to put, probably put this back down on it. So, there you go. This is why the computer overheats. Lint from your jeans, dust, cat hair, human hair, doesn't matter. They make things small, they make things clog up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hopefully, you learned something today about your own laptop. I'll see you next time. Hey, computer is overheating and I'm going to show you how to take it apart this is a NV52L23U it's the model number I believe and first thing you want to do is take the battery off I believe this is a Unlock for the thing. Normally, you're going to do this with two hands. Probably have a better model number than what I just wrote off. Let's see what the model number on this one is Q5WS8 is what the model number for this actually is. So, got the battery off. I'm going to take these screws off here. There's screws inside each of these little holes here. You want to take these two and loosen them up. This will pop out. Take these screws here, these two here, that screw there, that screw there, that screw there off. This here. When you take this screw here off, your CD ROM will slide out. Once you get this cover off, you got this screw here. This screw here, this one here, this screw here, and that one there to take off. This hard drive, grab it by its little tail, slide it this way. Or you may have to lift it up. Or we'll just use two hand, and it should slide. Um, wi Fi card would go on this, I'm going to call this post. This is a post and this is a post. So actually called anodes. That's J301. So if you're looking at it this way, the, right, the black wire goes on the post where the black screw is. So if your Wi-Fi stops working or doesn't work right, that's where that is right there. You don't have to take your memory out. So, take these screws out here, and we'll get the mother the uh, hard drive out. We'll get to the next step. I just used the leverage here. I put my screwdriver right there, and use it for leverage. And I pushed it that way, and I was able to take and pull out the hard drive. And I think that's a pretty good tight right there fit. Another thing we want to take and move that wire like that. And if you have a SD card in your computer, now would be the time to get it out. Um, this has one of those dummy ones. You press in and it pops out. I'm going to take that out all you can. Let's move, move to the next step. Next step is on this side here where your CD-ROM is, you're going to pull that up. See how that just gently lifts up? And you're going to continue working your way around the edge here. Now if you feel like a really bad resistance, make sure you go back in the area where it's kind of hard resistance 
and make sure you don't have a screw there that you forgot. You don't want to break your t top piece here. and They're very hard to find on eBay. And we're going to get to this section here in the center. And once I get this popped here, there should be a ribbon cable right there. I'll show you how to get to that.